What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Be having a great day. Today we have some pretty interesting news about the all new 2020 Shelby GT500. Specifically, Ford has finally launched their online configurator for this new Shelby. This entire time the online configurator hasn't even been up. People have locked in their orders without exactly configuring their car online, which is pretty interesting. And here we are on Ford.com. This is the exact web page where you can build each Ford model. Now this is the website where you can click on, for example, a Ford Mustang and completely build it out. Same thing goes with the Ford Raptor F-150s. Moving up here under vehicles, we'll click on performance vehicles. Let's see if we see it. So it's not listed under performance vehicles. Now let's go under cars and see if it shows up. I'm guessing it's just completely under the 2020 Ford Mustang. So build in price, here we go guys. We have the EcoBoost, it's interesting too considering that the bullet goes all the way up to $47,000, basically 50 grand for the bullet. Here we are guys, there it is, the 2020 Shelby's starting out with the GT350, if we go all the way up, $60,000. What's funny is that back when the GT350 first launched, in 2015, late 2015, early 2016, the first year of GT350s, the starting price was $49,000. So, so Ford advertised the GT350 very similarly to, to how Chevrolet advertised their new C8 Corvette, that being the new C8 Corvette cost less than $60,000. Well, that's what Ford did with the GT350. Looking back on it, the base GT350 didn't even come with Magneride. There were quite a few options. Looking at all the cars, you're really not going to find any bare bones 2016 GT350 out there. I think the average cost came close to right around what this one is right here. So $60,000 for a normal GT350. Moving below that, we have the 2020 Shelby GT500. That looks cool. That's Twister Orange. I, I like it. I, I really do. I think it's going to fit the car very well. So for $72,900 you get in the 5.2 liter supercharged cross plane crank V8 engine, the Tremec 7 speed dual clutch transmission, 20 inch flow formed high gloss black aluminum wheels. I wonder how much these wheels weigh. How much these wheels weigh in comparison to the carbon fiber wheels that you find on the track package variants. Now before we get to this I want to scroll down to one last time and I want to point this out. As you'll notice the GT350 is listed in two different areas. There is the GT350R and the normal GT350. The R costs 74 grand almost, and the normal one costs 60. One thing you will not see though is the carbon fiber track package GT500. This is because the carbon fiber track package GT500 is not really considered as an entirely different car. Anyways, guys, back to the point. Let's go check out the 2020 Shelby GT500. Here we go. Configure. And whoo, look at that. This is black. This is shadow black. That works. And right there, the price jumped up to $73,995. Now, when it comes to colors, only two different colors add cost to the car. So, Rapid Red adds almost $400 and Twister Orange adds $500, basically. So let's say we go with the bright white side stripes. That's how it would look. And then let's say we go with over the top stripes as well. It adds $1,000. And there we have it. So this is a black 2020 GT500 with white side stripes and white over the top stripes. What do you think? Is this a pretty good spec? Obviously this is a normal GT500. This one does not have the carbon fiber track package. But if we did add that, let's see how much money that costs. The carbon track pack adds $18,500 for a package on the car. With that selected, it raises the price all the way up to $93,870. I think it really makes a car pop. Actually, look at that. So when I switch between the carbon track pack and the normal GT500, look at the splitter workers. As you can see right now, they're in carbon fiber for the carbon track pack. But then for the normal one, it goes back to the plastic. Is this a new feature? I don't, I don't think it says anywhere online that the splitter wickers come in carbon fiber. And I've never seen that on any of the cars in person. So this could, could this be an error? What do you guys think? Did you notice this before? Is this a new feature on this car? So again, switching between the base model and the track package. 
and now it's in carbon again. That's pretty interesting. With the $19,000 carbon fiber track package, you're getting precisely 20 inch exposed carbon fiber wheels, Sport Cup 2 tires, 305s up front and 315s in the rear, a rear seat delete just like the 350R, an exposed carbon fiber instrument panel, we'll have to check that out. Also an exposed carbon fiber GT4 track wing, adjustable strut top mounts, Recaro leather trimmed seats, splitter wickers, and a wheel locking kit. All that for $19,000. Really looking at it with tax, you're looking at a $100,000 brand new Mustang. And you can get the price higher than that. Let's say you wanted the technology package. This costs $3,000 and adds in a B&O sound system, blind spot monitoring, heated mirrors with integrated turn signals and Cobra LED door projector courtesy puddle lamps and touchscreen navigation. I did opt for this because I was just thinking I'm already buying the, the carbon drag pack. Why not just go all out with this car because I do have a 2014 GT500 and I think this would be a great way to have the next evolution of it. With that in mind, by going all out, I did do something that really does raise the price of the car and you're going to see it right here. So if I change the color, so the color we're getting for this channel is going to be Ford Performance Blue. It's going to look pretty cool. I really do think so. Now let's remove the tape stripe and the over-the-top racing stripe and change it to what we ended up going with, which is very expensive. I, I will admit it. We are getting the painted Oxford White racing stripes. They cost $10,000. And with these painted stripes, you can no longer opt for the side stripes. And that's not everything. I did get one last option, which I know a lot of you are not a fan of. I did end up getting a car cover. And there we have it, guys. This is the price of my 2020 Shelby GT500. This is the car. This is the exact spec that we're going with. This, this looks incredible. I don't know how to express how excited I am for this car. I mean, just looking at it. It looks so mean. The wing is massive. Let's move on to the interior. Let's see how this looks inside. This just got posted online. So I think the rear seats being inside the trackpad car is just an error. Digital display. And then right down there, you'll see the rotary dial transmission selector. What's this right here? So it says 360. This is cool. Okay, this gives us a better idea. What's going on? You can see right here, it has the carbon fiber dash. And then the seats, so they are suede, it seems like. And then you have the leather trim with the white or gray colored accents on the, the outer side. And then right there in the middle, you'll see a white Cobra. This is it though, guys. This is this is going to be the car. Out the door, it's going to cost $106,000. Please let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Is that too much money for a Ford Mustang? Is that getting way too much into the exotic category? Or do you think this car can actually call for that price tag? It is going to be interesting because you'll have a lot of normal GT500. So if we, if we delete the carbon track pack, that saves close to 20 grand, right? And then let's say we delete the painted over the top stripes. Let's put on no stripe. We're already back to $77,000. And that's with the technology package. Let's say that you want a color like Grabber Lime. For a Grabber Lime GT500, it's going to cost $77,000. And let's say you wanted stripes, so let's put on the side stripes, which cost $400, and the $1,000 over the top stripes. Right there, we're looking at $78,765. There's going to be a huge jump between the track pack cars and the normal GT500s. They're going to cost a lot more money. That does beg the question though, do you think they're going to be worth the value over time? Are they going to be more sought after? I think already the carbon track packs are pretty hard to get. In comparison though, I think the base GT500 is already going to be an incredible en enough car. The main reason I'm getting the carbon track pack is because I really do go to the racetrack a lot and having the extra downforce and the carbon fiber wheels, it really does mean a lot on the track. That is if you really do go a lot. At the same time, a base GT500 is going to be incredible as well. This is going to be the car that you buy if you want to go, let's say, to the drag strip. Let's try blue stripes. Does that work? Oh, that's interesting. Let's try some pretty whack combos, right? So let's try red with blue stripes. 
Thoughts on this? Is this a good spec? And then let's say you want Twister Orange. I like it. Here's Magnetic Gray. I've never seen this before. This is the first Magnetic Gray GT500 I, I have ever seen. Over here we have Iconic Silver. Below that we have Kona Blue. Here's Velocity Blue. Here's Oxford White. I haven't seen this either. So this is an Oxford White GT500. Let's add in blue stripes. Make it just like the GT350R. Here it is, the same, the same color combo as our GT350R. What, what do you think? Have you ever seen a white and blue 2020 Shelby GT500? And how would this look with, with the carbon fiber track package? So let's click on it right here. Add in the $20,000. If you are getting this, please let me know in the comment section down below because this may just be one of my favorite specs for this car. We did end up going with the Ford Performance Blue because it's going to be the exact opposite of our GT350R because our R is white and blue. This is going to be blue and white. So they should look pretty cool side by side next to each other. Anyways, guys, that's going to wrap up this video. Hope you enjoyed it. This gives you a good idea at exactly how much money our GT500 is going to cost. So if you click right here, I think it'll tell us a, a readout. So actually, let's click summaries right below it. Okay, here it is. So this is a summary of our build. We have $32,000 in options, and that's our entire build. So basically, this without tax is going to be the price of our car. So let's say with tax, we're looking at over $110,000 for this new Mustang. This is going to be the most expensive brand new Mustang of all time. Please let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to let me know in the comment section down below. Also, hit that like button. It really does help me out. And subscribe for much more great videos to come. I'll see all of you in the next episode.